Jet engines produce thrust using a fundamentally different approach than propellers. The jet engine converts energy from fuel into an internal high pressure relative to the outside pressure. This pressure difference provides a net force or thrust to drive the aircraft forward. A simplified expression for this thrust is given as the thrust T is equal to the airflow mass, M air, flowing through the engine times the exit velocity, V exit. Thus, there are two ways to increase the thrust. One is to increase the mass of air flowing through the engine. The other is to increase the size of the exit velocity of the flow. A turbojet engine works by making the exit velocity extremely large. However, on its own, this is actually a very inefficient process. The exhaust of the engine produces a lot of kinetic energy that is ultimately released as wasted heat into the atmosphere. Thus, alternative designs have been created to make jet engines more efficient. A turboprop engine is a kind of hybrid engine that combines a jet with a propeller. The propeller produces most of the thrust. About 85% of the kinetic energy from the jet exhaust is extracted through a turbine to help drive the propeller. The remaining 15% of the jet exhaust directly produces thrust. This type of design is found on smaller commuter aircraft. The most popular jet engine technology on commercial flights today is the turbofan. A turbofan produces significant thrust from the exit velocity of the exhaust. It has a fan at the front and an inlet housing called a nacelle. The fan accelerates the airflow within the engine and routes the air through two paths. A large air mass is directed around the engine core through a bypass directly out of the engine at a relatively low exit velocity. The rest of the air mass travels through the engine core. The engine core consists of compressors and a combustion chamber. The compressed air is mixed with fuel and ignited to produce very high energies in the flow. This exhaust is routed through turbines to extract the energy to run the fan and the compressors. The remaining exhaust is then routed through the nozzle where it is accelerated to a high exit velocity.